You're welcome back. The bitter pay dispute at the Greyhound Recycling Company took a more serious turn today. Management warned it's going to the court seeking damages and the removal of what it calls illegal blockades from outside its depots in Dublin. Workers who earlier rejected the latest offer from the company vowed to maintain their protests. The dispute involving bin workers at Greyhound in Clondalkin took a sinister twist today when the company sent letters to the workers saying they'll go after their family homes if they continue their blockade. Audrey O'Kaneda's husband, Thunica, is one of 78 workers involved in the dispute. She says living on strike money of €200 Euro a week for almost three months is starting to take its toll. Now this has caused severe pressure on women and children. You've heard inside how children are getting sick, they're worried about their daddies. If they don't go back to work, they're going to lose their family home. I mean, this is a new low. At a press conference today, workers announced they're rejecting new cost-saving measures proposed at the Labour Relations Commission on Friday, saying pay cuts of 33% is still too much. What would not be an acceptable level of pay cuts? Well, I can't make that statement at this time. But I mean, this is what the whole dispute's about. I know, but that's between us the Labour Court and him. Workers now face the threat of jail as the company will tomorrow go to the High Court to seek enforcement orders against anyone who blocks its trucks from continuing its work. But staff say they're prepared to go to prison in defence of their jobs and family homes. I call on Michael Buckley to pull back from the threat of jail and workers and go back into the LRC. And I also need to call on directly to Enda Kenny, the Taoiseach, to condemn Michael Buckley for the threat of jail and the threat of taking our family homes off us. It's totally unacceptable. We're in a position now where we've had two years of negotiations. We have a package on the table worth 1.5 million. We have nothing more to give. So if we want to have a sustainable business into the future, this is the maximum package we can give. With no possibility of going back to talks, it may be a sleepless night for many workers ahead of tomorrow's court hearing. Sinead O'Donnell, The 5.30.